In this session, we will go over adding regions to a template. A region in CM1 is actually a div element on the page. Regions define the layout and also work as containers to add widgets. The first step to add a region to our template is to browse to our templates in design mode. To do this, we click on our CM1 menu and select design. Next, we need to double click our website and finder to load the templates. For this example, we're working with mynewsite.com. Once our templates load, let's minimize Finder to give ourselves a little more room to work. For this demo, we want to start building out our home page template. After selecting our template, the Content Layout and Style tabs all become active. To modify Regions and Widgets placement, we want to work on our Layout tab. Once our layout loads, we can begin adding regions. To add a region, we simply drag the region box out of the layout bar and drop it onto our container. Once the region is on the page, we can open the properties box to modify the settings. In the properties box, we can set a region name. This value is required and is the ID of the div on the page. Only one div with this name can exist at a time. For this example, we're going to name it header. We can also set a root class for the div. If you have more than one class you want to work with, just separate it with a space. The size and spacing boxes below allow us to specify inline styles on the div. If your CSS is going to control the size of these elements, just make sure you clear out these boxes. In addition, CM1 allows you to drag the borders of a region to resize it. This will set these width and height properties again, overriding your CSS. To prevent this, check off the Do Not Resize box. To apply any changes to your layout, click the Save button.